The Land Transportation Office reminds motorists anew to wear prescribed seat belts while driving after it recorded an increase in road accidents this year. Karen Villanda filed this report. Romulo has been a family driver for over 30 years. He is used to making his passengers wear seat belts, not only in the front seat but also at the back, due to an incident he experienced. Bigla ko sinita ng motor, sabad sad yung sakay ko dito. Ah, sabad sad, Kaya ako, may karanasan na sa ganyang ano, kaya tuwing ano, pinapa seat belt. Now that there are many motorists on the road, the Land Transportation Office reiterated the mandatory wearing of seat belt. According to the LTO, this is the number one violation in the Philippines since 2016. That's why road crash incidents mostly result in death or serious accidents. The agency emphasized that a motorist can be apprehended if his passengers in the back are not wearing seat belts. Ang exception lang yan sa batas kung kagaya ng jeepney na sideways, so hindi kailangan. Pero pag front facing forward, dapat ang sa likod meron din yung seatbelt. Based on study ng World Health Organization ito, pag tumatak mo sa sakyan at uh, let's say 50 miles per hour, nabunggo yan sa isang solid object, parang ang tao na hindi naka seatbelt ay eh, parang nahulog sa isang four-story building. Mabubuhay ka pa ba yan? Other Republic Act 8750, the fine for not wearing a seat belt ranges from 1,000 to 5,000 pesos and a week's a suspension of the driver's license. The LTO is also active in reminding motorists of traffic regulations on social media. Based on the records of the LTO, there have been 325 road crash incidents reported from January to July in four cities of Metro Manila. This is higher compared to only 73 incidents in the whole Metro Manila last year. According to the LTO, the volume of vehicles on the road is increasing. Therefore, there is a need to warn the public. Also among the things the LTO is strongly advising against is the use of cell phones while driving, even while halting to a stoplight. Under the Republic Act 10913, the fine is 5,000 to 20,000 pesos and includes a revocation of the driver's license. This is why the LTO warns delivery riders who have a cell phone attached in front of their motorcycles. Yung mga riders na may pinakapatong yung cellphone nila, dapat hindi mo pakialaman yan. So, <laughs> ang dami. Ang, ang sa amin, well, sa proactive din kami yan, pero nagpo-focus kami sa education aspect. The LTO plans also to pass a recommendation to amend the vehicle tinting law to easily catch violators while driving. Karen Villanda for The Nation.